Hello and welcome to today's video. Today is the rice first part of the rice portion of our video. I've already done the second helping of juke, which is 226 grams of acorn starch, 226 grams of rice starch, and 1,000 milliliters of water. I've already done that. We did it in yesterday's video. There's no use to redo, rehash it on this video. On this video, what I'm going to do is we're going to be washing and soaking our two kilos of black rice. I got these off of Amazon. They were the, they were the cheapest at the time I bought them. So, this is what I got. Um, normally, when you do the, prepare the rice to go broccoli, you'd wash it for about 15 minutes. Then you soak it for, I usually soak three hours, let drain for an hour, then steam for four to five minutes to an hour, depending on how much rice I'm using in a particular batch of broccoli. <laughs> We're going to do it different with this. With these, I'm going to do a very, very cursory washing. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put it in a bowl. And we're going to fill a bowl with water and let it soak overnight. Then tomorrow, we're going to pull the rice out. We're going to save the water. We're going to retain the water. We're going to steam the rice. Then we're going to add that, that water and that rice into the fermenter and the let it start its 28 day cycle of finished fermenting so like i said grab a pair of scissors real quick what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this is the first kilo oh. Oh. there we go Put it in the strain. Like I said, um, this is a very cursory, very small, limited. Basically, all I'm going to do is basically wash it real good. As you can, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but this water that's coming down has a slight purplish tint to it. So we're going to go ahead and put it in the bowl. And then we'll take, we're going to do the same thing with our second kilo of rice. If I don't spill it all over the floor. Except the way the lighting in my kitchen stuff is, you may not be able to see it, but that's all I'm doing. As I'm washing this just to about the point that the water starts to turn purple. Then I take it and dump it in our bowl. Take our bowl, clean up some of this rice. Just what I don't want my wife to come home to is a whole counter covered in rice. Um, so, I'm going to let this soak and stir it a little bit in my hands.
Yeah, the water is starting to turn purple. I'll get a shot of that um, here in a second with a different camera. I'm just edited into the product. Um, like I said, the water's already turned purple, and I've just hand stirred it a little bit, which I will probably stir this a couple times because I want. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, is in just a short time it's been in the bowl, this is the water, it's starting to darken. So, we want this. Now, what I want to do is I don't want any wild yeast or molds or anything to settle into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take saran wrap. After I turn the camera off, I'm going to take put saran wrap over the top of this and set it to, set it to the side to let it soak overnight. And by tomorrow morning, we should get a very nice, very dark purplish color. Then with the brown that. I got the brown liquid that I got from the mixture of the acorn starch and the rice starch should keep it sufficiently dark enough that we should have a fairly dark mockley. And by actually, I put a little extra rook in there. And with, with the full packet of yeast, we should get a fairly alcohol concentration in in our final product so until the next video love peace better brewing